Welcome back to Hand of Fate. It's time to attempt to take on the dealer himself. This is going to be pretty damn hard, because these curses are really nasty. The player receives a curse at each new dungeon level, and I can't receive any blessings. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm going to have just a pile of curses by the end of this. Assuming I even get to the end. However, there is one good thing that comes from this. Remember that encounter that requires me to be basically be completely cursed? Like, really, really cursed? Some sort of demon, practically, I'm so cursed? The one where that small demon thing answers the door? I'm going to have no problem doing that encounter. So, at least there's something good. Until now, I have shown compassion. You would be best to test me no further. You face me. The rules change yet again. delivers again. In every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. Okay. You are so close to victory, and I am so close to the final nothingness. I have fought against this day for so long. Okay, so this is the one blessing that I get, because I can't get any more blessings, but it looks like you still get to start out with one. And unfortunately, it's the one that's pretty crappy. 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown time by 80%. That is really bad. Purge the lands of these unholy abominations, and you will reap the rewards. Oh, right. That's right. Okay, so yeah, a bunch of things changed that I completely forgot about. So one is that you get to draw an equipment card at the start of every new run, which is nice. And also there's random food and gold just strewn about each dungeon level. Okay. So, things are looking up. And after killing an undead, the player receives plus 5 health. That's actually not bad. You know, I did see him put in a bunch of lose 10 health per curse cards. Which, given that I'm going to have a pile of curses, could very easily take out half my health. <laughs> Our friend, the smith. <laughs> yeah, friend. <sighs> Back down into the dark caves of doom? Look, it's the beginning of the run. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Either we're going to save this motherfucker, or I'm going to die in the dark dungeons. Win this and claim my token. Let's go. I accept your quest. Come on. Here we go. Oh. Choose from these options. I think huge success was the one at the top in the beginning, but I completely lost track of it. Okay. That means no pluses, no minuses. I have the chance to either leave or go back in. Let's go back in. Come on, huge success! Come on! Eh, yeah, could've been worse. That's fine. How unpleasant. Look, it's a one in four. This can't be too hard. Come on. It's impossible. The cards mm. turn against us all in time. Ooh, six of skulls. Uh, given that I get five hit points for killing each one, that means six times five, which is, if you do the hard mental math, uh, cosine of pi over six, uh, 30 health.
That was close. Obviously, ideally, you'd like to go for the spellcasters first, but I wasn't really having any tr trouble uh, dodging their shots before, so figured what the hell. Ow. All right, let's save the skeletons for healing. So let's kill this guy first. Thank you for the health. And back up to... Almost full. I actually just assumed I could interrupt his shot. Normally you can, but I guess he was very... I, I don't know. Particularly strong? Skeleton, I guess? I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's not the end of it. I still need that huge success. Oh dear. <sighs> Here we go again. Oh, this is easy. Yeah, I'm just gonna save the skeletons for last because I can use them to heal. Given that I have the ability to heal from killing skeletons, I think I probably could actually do this... probably forever. I can't even track the cards, so I'm just using the, the one... Select your desire. I'm just going with the one all the way on the left. Hmm. It's never gonna end. If I'm always choosing the same card, so effectively it's random, and there's a 1 in 4 chance, that means I should have gotten it by now. Oh my oh god. Dear. <sighs> oh, no skeletons. Okay. I need to go for the mages first. Yeah, this is actually pretty tough. Thankfully, these guys don't have much health. Okay, I 
think that's all of them? No, one more. Okay, we're good. Enraged. There's so many jacks of dust and stuff, I, I swear they're coming from like a cloning vat or something. <laughs> there's, there's just like a laboratory somewhere out there in a cave, just full of jacks of dust. So one in four chance. Wait, what? Oh, shit, I just skipped- what? Huh? I, I think there's a limit on it. I just totally skipped that because I just assumed it was the same thing and I was just mashing. I think it's just something like the... Something crumbles, something breaks. Uh, I guess there is an end to it. Well, <laughs> why is the blacksmith so hard? It's a one in four chance. And I just did that, what, like, six times? A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. This one is very hard to get because you gotta roll high on a bunch of different places. I, I didn't track him. Oh! Okay. Alright, gotta do it again. Okay, I don't think I get the coin, though. No, I get some equipment, though. Ooh. That is an excellent weapon. One of the best. As pleases you. Yeah, I think you have to get two huge successes in a row, though, to actually get the coin. Oh, right. There's some gold left for me back there. But do I want to get lost in the desert to find the gold? No, I don't. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? And, oh god, I get another curse. Each counterattack the player inflicts, double damage and loses one food. Shit. <laughs> that just made combat way more difficult. Alright, it's back to rolling. This can only end one way, you know. Let's see how much it would cost to actually remove that curse. I'm pretty sure it's going to be probably over a hundred. At least eighty. Oh shit, that's it? Twenty-three food, uh, twenty-three gold to remove that. That, <laughs> that is absolutely worth it. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that thing right now. Yeah, so it looks, it looks like the ones you start out with are very expensive, but the ones that you actually, like, accrue during your journeys are not too expensive. But yeah, let's get rid of this damn thing. That just saved my ass. Okay, so I don't... I don't receive any blessings, but can I actually buy a blessing? What's the exact wording on my curse? Cannot receive any more blessings. Hmm. That's ambiguous. Is buying a blessing receiving a blessing? I'm not sure. It might just mean you don't get any blessings from story events and stuff like that. Final encounter with the druids. Or is it? 
This should be fun. We play for a token now. You arrive at the Sacred Stones to find the robed druids again waiting for you in silence. For this final ritual, you must place whatever enchanted items you possess in this chest, next to the stone table. Our magics are delicate and may not be disturbed. We have brought common replacements for you to use to ward us during the ceremony. Oh, so you have to go back to default equipment. So I can't use my... my lightning mace. Gotcha. You refuse? Consider how profitable our arrangement has been in the past. We offer you five times the reward we gave you last time. Sure, you want me to fight Cthulhu with a rusty axe? I'll do it. You place your gear into the chest and pick up the old equipment. Now we may begin. Wordlessly, the other monks tear off their robes, revealing nothing but bones, animated by dark magic. The, their leader pulls back his hood to stare at you with dark, undead eyes. Your participation in the earlier rituals, by sacrificing those creatures to the Dark One, was crucial for this next part to succeed. But now, you need only die to complete the ritual and become my unholy champion. <laughs> This sounds awesome. Bring it on. A lich and two skulls? That's it? That's nothing. There's got to be something more to it, right? Ow. Oh, shit. Taking a lot of damage here. Alright, let's go. You and me. Oh shit. I didn't realize that burnt me. I'm actually very low in health. My god, die already, please. Oh shit. Alright. If I get hit once more, I'm dead. How much health do you have? Oh my god.
Okay. Oh, wait, what? What's happening? Oh, oh, I thought she was gonna, like, transform into another boss face or something. Alright, we're good. With the undead horrors defeated, you loot their bones and recover your equipment. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Hmm. Skeleton King's shield. What, what can I do with that again? Oh, that's one that can stun opponents and actually instantly kill skeletons. Well, regular skeletons. That's good. That's very good. Let's go with that. Sounds cool. Ooh. Finishers. That's the first time I've had a weapon with a finisher. Weapons with this trait allow the hero to perform a finishing move on downed foes. Aim towards the downed foe and press X button to perform a finisher. Press left bumper to perform a killing blow that also drains your health. Hmm. Well, I have five hit points. <laughs> so, I don't think I want to be draining my health. Hmm. It also doesn't say how much it drains. But assuming that means it does an instant kill... Since it is a finisher, I guess it is an instant kill. Then... That might allow you to kill bosses, like, really, really quickly. But other than that, for general opponents, that does not sound good. Wait a minute. I should have my equipment back, right? But I have a rusty axe equipped. Well, let me not equip this. Let's see what happens. Hold on. From the Lich, you recover a magical helm of unknown powers and origin. You take it to be identified at a later date. Okay, so can I put my... Okay, yeah, there it is. My old weapon on there. See if there's anything else I need to equip. Weapon's good. Armor's good. Nothing to do there. Cry of hindsight. Shield. Got my rings. Okay, we're good. Oh shit, you know, I should have come back and forth to recover my health some more. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was stupid. Now I'm really low on health. Whoops. I have to be extremely careful. Shit. Oh my god. Yes, that stuns opponents, thanks to my awesome shield. That is very cool. Alright, let me see if I can come to the casters around the back. Shot through the heart! Ow. You will never face me. Once more into the grave. How unfortunate for you. Well, at least I got one thing. Clairvoyant Helm. Hmm. I'm hesitant to start again because it might end up a really long run. But if I don't start, it's going to be a super short episode. Okay, let's just go with the assumption that I'm going to die very soon because of all the curses, and let's roll with it. Have you learned nothing? 
<coughs> Excuse me, let me just butt in here for a second. This is, once again, future me. Remember when past me said, I'm gonna just keep playing because I'm probably gonna die pretty soon and the episode won't end up being too long? Yeah, well, past me was wrong, again. If I left it in, the episode would probably be like an hour and a half. So, I'm just going to cut here and once again, I'm gonna split the next attempt off into a separate episode. So, I hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon.